Voices to Hear. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Voices to Hear. My name is Yolanta. And I'm Anik, and we are excited to talk to Elon today. In this episode, we will try to find out what the deal is with being vegan. Hi, Elon. Hi. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? I'm 22 years old. I'm studying medicine in Bratislava in Slovakia and I'm vegan. Vegan diets are growing in popularity due to health, animal welfare or environmental concerns. Over the years, vegan eating has gone from tasteless to trendy to making inroads into the mainstream. What is your story? When did you become vegan? I became vegan around three years ago. And before I became vegan, I was vegetarian for maybe four years. And um, I would say that this definitely made the transition easier. And what were your motivations for going vegan? When I was younger, I remember that my brother was like all of the sudden he decided to be vegan. And my parents were really supportive and we started to have our main meal of the day in a vegan variant. And at first I realized that it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. So I didn't really miss meat. And then when I grew older, I started to inform myself about climate change and animal ethics and health. And um, with the years, I slowly started to realize that there isn't a single argument that outweighs the benefits of being vegan, at least for myself. And that's when I also uh, decided to start Uh, quitting dairy. When you tell people that you're vegan, I'm sure that you're opening Pandora's box of questions. Everything from the funny to the silly and even the downright ridiculous. What was the most absurd question you heard? Mostly I hear reactions like, what, the vegan, isn't that a bit extreme? <laughs> and something like, I couldn't live like this, I need my meat. But I remember one time I was working with a man in an ice cream shop and um, he asked me if I also stopped having oral sex. <laughs> and in that moment I felt horrible and also kind of offended. But now um, I understand he just didn't have a clue about the concept of being vegan. <laughs> so I feel sorry for him. <laughs> But do you think he was serious when he asked that or was it like a joke? I think he... He wanted to like make me angry. He wanted to provoke my reaction because he didn't like vegans. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And being not at all serious now, does a vegan have to give up going to dinner at other people's houses if they are not vegan? I think that can happen, but I actually didn't ever experience it because if there's no vegan alternative, most of the time I can still eat the side dishes like rice or potatoes. And I also feel like the awareness of climate change and animal suffering is constantly increasing. And among my friends, most people are at least vegetarians. I also observed that in my city, vegan options or whole vegan restaurants are becoming increasingly popular. What about this one? Can vegans date non-vegans? And how do vegetarians feel about kissing people who eat meat? Um, I think this is also individually different. Um, I personally don't have a problem with kissing or dating Norgans, but my boyfriend is very supportive and when we cook together, it's always vegan. But there are people that really celebrate it. For them, it, veganism is a real lifestyle and I understand that they want to date someone who has the same point of view and same belief. You also said that you are studying medicine. Do you think it's healthy to live a vegan lifestyle? Yes, I think so. But the most important aspect is to have a balanced diet. And there are many rumors that vegans are protein deficient. And this is completely wrong. Um, calcium is also a rumor. And this is not only in milk products, because why would, for example, elephants have such strong bones? They don't drink cow milk. And uh, nevertheless, there's a one vitamin which isn't found in a plant-based diet. And this is vitamin B12. And vegans have to substitute it because a deficiency can become very dangerous with time. But in reality, animals in factory farming also don't have access to this in the natural way because um, they don't eat soil anymore. They aren't as free anymore. They actually also receive tablets nowadays. 
veganism seems expensive. How do you make a plant-based diet affordable? Um, it can be very expensive if you buy meat alternatives, like some Beyond Meat or vegan steaks. And also restaurants can be expensive. But I don't buy these um, alternatives on a regular basis. Most of the time I just eat pasta or rice or potatoes um, with beans or lentils or some vegetables and tofu. And this actually isn't expensive. What are your biggest cooking tips for those who want to get started with plant-based diet? How do you keep your diet fun and diverse? There are many blogs online which have very nice recipes of plant-based alternatives for cheese or some cream sauces. And uh, this may make the transition easier. And then you also realize that almost every recipe is still possible and still tastes delicious. And I also love cooking with friends because then you, you kind of celebrate your food And that motivates you and might give you some new ideas and inspiration. So what are your three tasty, healthy, vegan breakfast ideas? I would say porridge with strawberries, blueberries, cinnamon and vegan yogurt. Second, toast or bread with vegan spread or hummus or guacamole and tomatoes. Then every Sunday, my, my friends and me, we meet and we make vegan pancake. And I have one friend who loves to make a berry sauce. And I also enjoyed the pancakes with some vegan Nutella and bananas. Sounds delicious. Yes, it is. <laughs> What is your best advice for those thinking of experimenting with the plant-based lifestyle, but don't know where to start? It might be easier to start with a vegetarian diet. And I would always advise to take your time, but don't give up. Educate yourself, watch some documentations because this, this might reinforce your motivation. And apart from the diet, you can also try not to buy leather anymore or pay attention to the ingredients or animal testing in cosmetic products. Always remember every little step makes a difference. Thank you, Elon. Bye bye. No bye. problem. Bye. Thanks to Elon for being here today and thanks to all of you for tuning in to this episode. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Have a great day and until next time.